Friends in Jesus Christ, in today's gospel, we see that Jesus is calling Matthew, the tax collector. So the call of Matthew, the tax collector. Uh, of all the people in Palestine, tax collectors was the most hated. Was the most was most hated. Uh, Palestine was a country subject to Roman rule, and these tax collectors had taken service under the Roman government. So therefore, they had to collect taxes, and these people were considered considered as traitors. Traitors, and there are two kinds of two two kinds of taxes they collect. The one first one is a stated taxes, uh, which means like uh, men from certain age to certain age, they have to pay the tax for the sake of or uh, for the privilege of existing. And also women from certain age to certain age, uh, from certain age to certain age, they have to pay the tax for the privilege of existing. And it was compulsory, they cannot escape from paying the taxes. And also one fifth of the gr uh, grain growth, they have to pay as a tax. And one fifth of the wine and oil, they have to pay as the tax. And also there was one uh, percent of the income tax had to be paid uh, like that you know this if this comes under the first uh, stated tax and second uh, tax it, uh, it can, uh, there are uh, different kinds of duties like uh, a person is using the main road he had to pay the tax if the person is uh, using the main road he had to pay the tax harbors and then markets then he had to pay the tax and also tax can be payable on the cart cart bullet cart and so on and on the wheel and on the animal which do it so these are the things they have to pay the tax they cannot escape from those things and uh, once uh, they are being paid then only they are left if the person is not able to pay the tax then these people the tax collector they will give them interest certain amount and then collect interest from them it will be a forceful act uh, in this sense, these people were hated, these tax, tax, tax collectors and uh, considered as traitors, traitors, you know, it's a great insult. And this kind of people only God is choosing. Who is choosing? Jesus is choosing, asking the, uh, asking Matthew to follow him, follow him, you know. See, what a strange mixture of uh, collect, collecting the disciples, the strange mixture of collection of disciples because since Jesus was collecting these people in from different uh, mentality or attitudes or behavior and was it was one of them who betrayed Jesus it was Judas Iscariot so what happened God gave him the chance but he missed you misused it so regarding the tax collect, uh, collecting of the tax so in our lives in how we collect tax from the others it's not merely meaning of money. I collect money from the other person. I collect the money you know, from interest. So that also can be, dear friends. If we give some a certain amount to other person, like 10,000 or 50,000, uh, when the person comes and asks you for uh, some help, it was, it was in an urgency. So he asked for you an help and you did it to him. And then you collect extra interest, extra interest. So that becomes like tax. And also tax can be in other ways like uh, taking someone's time, giving lot of work to the other person. So if you are giving lot of work to the other person unnecessarily and you are not paying certain amount to him, then that becomes taxing. Uh, you, feel, you feel like you are taking rest and you don't go and somewhere and so on. You spend your time but you are pulling someone who is under you or who cannot ask you a question so if you are uh, making use of those people and those people's time then that is also a uh, time uh, like uh, collecting tax uh, you are taxing their energy you are taxing their time you are taxing their work you are taxing their actions and uh, these things ha may happen dear friends these things we may be doing so we need to get away from those things, taxing. And also mainly we can see that it is a call of Jesus and we also being called in various ways as a, as a 
member of the church as a member of the body of the church we are being called in what role what role am i to play what should i do how can i help the other person to come to christ how can i help the other person to know about christ and how can i help the other person to go spread or evangelize about jesus christ about the gospel so in that sense we can be a better person in making use of the call or responding to the call of god in our lives thank you